What's up guys, that Jake Fishman here again with another video. Um, for my second video I thought I would do just a basic uh, half of what I have that I use when I go out into the lake. Um, today I've got, what do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. And then I guess like a full gallon bag of just normal plastics that I take with me. Um, sorry if the camera angle is kind of off. I've got it angled down more towards you know the light so you guys can see what I'm throwing a little bit better. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this thing started. All right, so for my terminal tackle box right here, got Trocar, got a sticker on there. It's a pretty solid company right there. Um, starting from the top, I've got, what are these, two? I believe these are two aught EWG uh, worm hooks, and I got them in the red color. And then I've got four aught. I've got the four aught. These are these have a longer shank towards the front. This will focus in on it. There you go. They have a longer shank than your normal hooks. They're normally meant for Texas rigging a worm, big six, seven, eight inch worm. Um, but they have an extra. They have a wider bite than what a normal EWG hook has. Let's see that focus. We'll get it. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then I got some five aughts here, just for bigger baits. Um, I don't normally like to fish a lot of the round bends. I like to fish a little bit more. Um, the EWG is just my preference. You get a little bit more bite towards the bait. Here, I'll show you guys here. Normally, you get a lot more bite than you would a round bend. It's just it's a confidence booster for me, so that's what I prefer. Um, into my flipping hooks, I've got three aught uh, Trocar TK130. Um, great flipping hook, very sharp. Don't have to put much force on it to get it to go. I'll show you guys right here. Boom! It's already just stuck myself. Um, they are pretty sharp. I, I like to throw um, not only the Trocars but the Mustad e uh, e uh, flipping hooks. Also, I like to keep it pretty simple with my hook companies. I'll keep it at uh, Gamagatsu and must add just because I prefer them and they think I think they're pretty sharp but when it comes to flipping hooks I'll definitely go with the trocars they're a lot they're pretty much the sharpest hook you can buy on the market um, so that's just my opinion we'll leave it at that um, next up we got um, just round bend worm hooks even though I said I don't like to use round bend these are pretty good um, for a worm when you Texas rig these um, the, the worm won't tend to Kind of as it's going along the bottom when it's Texas rigged like this, it'll kind of stay straight. It won't tend to roll over as much as it would with a EWG hook. Um, here you got, you can see I got some wobble heads. Uh, I believe these are five eighths ounce. I got one on a, I got a pit boss on here in Texas craw, I believe. And then I've got another one here with a rage craw. And I dipped the tips in um, orange. There's a green pumpkin. I don't know. Kicking their bass TV does this a lot, and I thought I'd give it a good try out by the reservoirs by me. Um, and then over here I've got my tungsten weights. These are lead weights. These are drop shot weights and light Texas rig hooks. Um, so up here you got my ounce and a half tungsten. Uh, it goes ounce and a half, ounce, three quarter, half ounce. Uh, these are three eighths ounce, quarter, and then five sixteenths. Um, pretty good tip that you guys should um, probably try with your weights is that see how it kind of the paint tends to chip off a little bit and it gets really silver and it, there's just no paint left. Um, one of the good things you guys can do is if you take a blowtorch and you light the blowtorch and you hold these with a good pair of pliers really tight until it starts to glow, glow a bright orange. Um, it'll actually, um, once you take it out of that that flame, you want to dip it in a lot of really, really cold water and it'll, um, it'll keep this type of black, purple, almost like hematoma color. If you guys check out um, on Fitzgerald Rods, their um, channel, they got a pretty good video of that. Um, just, just another, just, just one quick tip for weights. So that's what I'm running with Terminal Tackle. Uh, I'm trying to drink Arizona tea, trying to stay awake. Pretty tired, long day. Um, so we got a Terminal Tackle box. I guess we'll go with my just miscellaneous crawl baits that I've got in here. These are Plano 3600. Um, they're the thin ones. I don't recommend you keep your your baits, your plastics in a plastic box because of the plastic, the softener that they have in the plastics, it warps the box to where it doesn't close all the way like it should. So it's pretty much, it's like a pain to try and get it to close. But um, I prefer to keep mine in the bags, but this, I just didn't really want to be carrying around a bunch of bags with me. So um, these are my craws. I'll use these. Some of these are flipping. Some of these are like 
um, just Texas rigs. We got Zoom, Ultra Vibe Speed Cross. We got one in, I just think it's uh, Green Pumpkin Cinnamon. It's got like Purple Flake in it. Uh, we got straight Green Pumpkin here. You all know what that looks like. And then we got um, some Berkeley Havoc um, Speed Cross, I believe these are called. And it's in Bama Buck color. Uh, I got the D-Bomb here, gold green green goby. Um, D&M, Flippin' Craws, and Peanut Butter Jelly. By far one of the best craw baits that I think I can buy um, out there. I get them on Tackle Warehouse. You can't really get them other, anywhere else but um, MonsterFish.com, Tackle Warehouse, or D&M's site themselves. They come in three, four, three and a quarter, four and a half, and five inch. Um, I like to keep it at the three and a quarter, four inch. I don't really use a five inch bait that much. I don't really see the need. And then you got your classic June bug here. And then you got the craw fatties in green pumpkin. Uh, these are mainly jig trailers. I don't like them because they're, I don't like them really for anything else because they're so thin. They'll wear out pretty well. Um, and then the last thing in this box that I've got is the flukes. You got them in. I think this is uh, Bluego Flash, something like that. I believe it's a Bluego Flash. I got it on a 4 uh owner twist lock hook. There you go. Um, and then I've got one in just like a thread fin shad color on a underspin. It's a half ounce underspin. When you hold it, this, this color up to the light, it has like a rainbow trout kind of color to it. It's pretty cool. Um, by far my favorite color, though, definitely would have to be the Bluego Flash. Um, Zoom makes it pretty well, and then Strike King and their Caffeine Shad um, makes it exceptionally well. So that's that box. Um, and then my next box, I guess we'll skip my jig trailers and we'll go to my topwaters. Culprit sticker right there. Makes probably the best worms. Um, no affiliation with the company, but uh, that's just my opinion. So we've got um, some biffle bugs here. I got them in summer crawl. Pretty good tip here, guys, is if you're fishing these and you don't want to fish them on the bottom and you want to fish them just like a frog, take this tail right here because it's riveted right there. You just take that off, throw that away because you don't need that. Take a three yacht hook, put it in the bait, and then just swim it across the top. Works just as good as a topwater frog. Um, my go-to topwater frog, because I'm not big into the hollow bodies, so I haven't really had any luck on them. Would have to be a Zoom Horny Toad in black chartreuse legs. Um, one of the videos that you've seen um, in, on One Rod, One Reels channel, uh, where he's fishing at Lake Kitimacundi, this bait during the spring and summer, because it's so matted with grass, for some reason they will not bite any other color but this black with the chartreuse legs. Uh, we got it in the black color here. And then I got a Booyah Pad Crusher, and then we have. A Spro Poppin' Frog that I trim the legs down to make it walk a little bit better. But I've got a lot of good hits. A lot of them just come up and grab the tails. But that's that. That's my top water box right there. Uh, moving on. Ooh, my bad. Hit the camera. Uh, moving on to my hard baits. Um, a lot of you guys will probably find this pretty shocking, but this box is my only box of hard baits. I know, shocker. Um, I prefer to fish more soft plastics and jigs than I do hard baits. I've never really had any luck with them. Um, but what I do have, I got your base. I have my bases covered. I've got my 6XD here. Striking 6XD. It's got a one knocker in it. Um, if I can get it untangled, you guys might be able to hear it. It's got the one knocker in it. Um, I've got a repel, a rebel. Repel Rebel um, Mid Diver. I won that in a little friendly tournament with one rod, one reel. Um, some basic crankbaits, shallow water crankbaits. I got a 2.5 right here. That's more of your deeper shallow water crankbait. And then I've got some Excite baits or um, Excalibur crankbaits. I got it in a crawfish color chartreuse. And I got one in a green pumpkin, just like a brown curl. It's got the red eyes. Um, once I think I, I think once I get a um, more of a cranking setup. I'll start to throw those a little bit more. Um, your go-to is KVD 1.5 in black back. Top water bait here. Uh, top water hard bait. We got a, a Strike King, Sexy Dog, and Tennessee Shad. It's full size. It's great walking bait. Great hooks on it. 
Um, I had to sharpen them a couple times because I got a lot of hook rash on here. I don't know if you can see it right there. There, and then on the tail. Caught a lot of good fish on this. The only jerk bait I have, hard jerk bait that is, would be this. And somehow that happened. I don't know if you can see that. The hook is inside the eyelet for the split ring. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, got it. We got it. There we go. This is the Shadow Rat by uh, Rapala. 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 I say Rapala. Um, in Greenback Threadfin Shad. Or not Threadfin Shad. Green. Um, God, what's it called? Heron. Blue Heron color. That's what it is. And then we got some Jackal swim baits here. A little three quarter ounce glide baits. Um, got in Ghost Gill and then Blue Gill. Pretty simple. Extremely sharp hooks on these guys. Extremely sharp hooks. Definitely want to be careful when you're handling these things. Um, and then I just have some two my two rattle traps there, and then just a bunch of miscellaneous um, treble hooks that I switched out. So that's that box. And then you got an Ask Alexander sticker. I don't know. I just thought I decided, decided to throw it on there. Thought it'd be cool looking. Pretty awesome. My Senko box, guys. My Senkos can never go wrong with Senkos. Stick baits are the best. We got the Yum Dinger and June Bug right there. We've got the um, Net Bait in black and blue. These are all five inch. We've got the Ocho in, I want to say this is uh, Root Beer Green, I want to say. Not too sure, guys. Uh, but I call it Rupert Pepper Green because that's what it looks like. Great if you're fishing for a lot of you guys in Maryland that fish like I do. If you go on the Susquehanna, go down by the Havity Grace area. Great color. Um, we got white and chartreuse. Sorry for the glare on that one. That's really hard to see. It's got chartreuse, then you got white. Strike King. Stick bait. And shad. Bluegill flash. Same color. And then we got the Moneymaker and Watermelon Red. And then we got the Zoom. I don't think these are a Swamp Crawler. They're like a... It's not like a Ring Fry, but it's... I don't know. I can't remember the name of this, but... It's like a little little tiny finesse. Senko bait. You can Texas rig it. You can wacky rig it. You can fish it on a drop shot. I got that in Watermelon. And then I've got it in June Bug over here. And then I've got, uh, to throw these on, mainly Wacky Rigged, I'll throw it on a VMC Ike Approved 1-aught Wacky Rig hook with the Wee Guard right there. It's good, very sharp hook. Haven't lost one yet. Still got five of them. But now we're getting into the meat and potatoes. We got the jig setups here. These are some of the jig trailers that I fish. Um, we've got the Crawl Fatty Green Pumpkin by Berkeley Havoc. We've got the Zoom Super Chunk and Green Pumpkin. We've got uh, the Wackham Crazy Baits Tater Bug in black and blue. You cannot find these on Tackle Warehouse, but these are definitely great baits, you guys. You should definitely go check them out. They're very durable, they're very stretchy, um, very, very soft. Um, it's a great trailer, great flipping bait. Black and blue, it's a big tater, it's a full size. Now we've got the baby tater bug in root beer pepper green. Great natural color, great bluegill color. Um, the net bait, pack of chunks senior in root beer pepper green. Right there. Uh, zoom swimming chunk in white. Y'all know what this looks like. Great for spinner baits and chatter baits and swim jigs. Zoom super chunk in summer crawl. It's basically a green pumpkin with a chartreuse side on it. Great bluegill or brim imitator. And then net bait in perfection. Net bait pack of crawl pack of chunk in root beer uh, not root beer pepper green in watermelon splice and in I think this is crawfish, but uh, my favorite definitely would have to be their watermelon splice because you can throw that on pretty much any green pumpkin colored jig and still catch fish with it. 
Box number seven. It's my jig box. It's a Plano 3700. It's a deep box. It's my biggest box, probably my heaviest box. Let's get into it. Now, if I'm going to bring this out with me to the lake, I'm going to just solely bring this box because it is just so big, I won't be able to fit anything else in my backpack. The way I like to divide my jigs is I do it not only by color, but by weight. I have my three quarter ounce here, half ounce here, three eighths, and then quarter. Except this one. This one has just like miscellaneous, it has like a punching jig and there's like a five sixteenths ounce jig in there. Um, good colors you like to throw definitely would be black and blue. You can never go wrong. We've got tons of those. We've got one, uh, two, we've got three. Four or five, and these two are solely my flip in jigs because they're just a lot bigger than the others. I'll definitely do a more in depth video on jig fishing, you guys, don't worry, because um, it is one of my favorite ways to fish. Got a half ounce black and blue. Some of my jigs have star flash skirts on them by Gambler. Um, they just give a little bit bigger profile. They like to, they flare out a little bit more and they have more flash to them. Uh, I got three eighths here. And then quarter, of course. And then we got three quarter ounce boss uh, flipping jig head. I made this one myself. Um, great. We got it in a green pumpkin with a uh, trailer on here. This is a Bruiser Baits uh, Intruder. It's got white on the bottom. It's great. Nice, small, compact flipping bait. I mean, it looks big compared to my hand, but if you compare it to the three quarter ounce ones I have, this is like way smaller. Um, half ounce. Hack Tech, uh heavy cover jig in their green pumpkin craw. Definitely a go-to color that you guys should definitely have in your tackle box. It, is just, it just works all the time in any different situation. If they're not biting anything, you can throw this and you know you'll get bit. Specifically with this trailer, with the watermelon splice. It's very natural. Uh, I got 3 8 ounce here. This one is my Utiza. I've used this thing so much that the, the hook, the bait keeper, I don't know, you can't really see it, but it, I can spin it. This thing's just so beat to heck. And then I've got just the quarter ounce jig here. Um, the next, I got a three quarter ounce and another three quarter ounce. It looks kind of like Ike's mini flip jig, but it's just a green pumpkin, orange color. Um, we've got a green pumpkin, black and chartreuse here. Uh, this will be for flipping muddy water. Dip the tips of this in chartreuse. Half ounce, same color, black chartreuse, green pumpkin. Um, a good bluegill color for the bed fishing. And then green pumpkin orange for the fall in half ounce. Um, we got a one ounce punch jig. Here, striking hack tack and falcon crawl, the uh, uh, missile baits, missile uh, not missile crawl, but D bomb on the back of it. Right there, it's good fishing not only the delta but the river and punching grass. Uh, I got a swim jig here, three quarter ounce dirty jig swim jig, and I don't know if it's gonna come up because the lighting's pretty pretty bright. We got chartreuse, we got white, and I got some silver flake on here, and I got a three inch zoom swimming chunk on the back of this. Um, I'll be using it mainly for fishing around during the springtime for the beds. I'll be able to fish it, swim it up to the bed, and then kill it. And it'll stand up, and these things will just go crazy, and the fish will just destroy it. Um, my last swim jigs. You got a Strike King half ounce with a custom skirt that I put on there with a Kai Tech in olive color. Three quarter ounce black and blue swim jig, green pumpkin trailer, boom. Got a chatter bait here. Got a three quarter ounce Z-Man green pumpkin chatter bait. Then we got a three eighths ounce booyah baby boo jig, not a baby boo jig, boo jig. And uh, I believe this is like, it's got that like that root beer pepper green color. I don't know what else to call it, but that's what it's called. That's how, that's what I'm calling it. Um, with a little tiny packet chunk on the bottom. 
that's my jig box. Um, I'll definitely be sure to do another video um, just specifically on jig fishing and how to make it simple and easy because I know it can be very confusing um, for sure. But those are my boxes, guys. This is the first half of two videos I'm going to make. Um, this obviously being the first one because uh, I just have so much stuff. I, I don't want to make a really long video for you guys and have you sit through like an entire 40-minute video. But if you like what I've done, um, be sure to like and subscribe and definitely down below leave me some comments as to what you definitely want to see me do and what you want me to elaborate more on and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. Alrighty, I'm signing out and I'll catch you again next time with the second half of this two-part series.